for you. Hoping that you got it bad for me. I'm in my back for you. I'm hoping that you in your back for me. Breaking my back for you, but you gotta break your back for me. I just fell. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be talking about how to get over your ex. If you have ever been in a relationship and you got your little itty bitty heart broken, you really understand how hard it is to like move on and you know not worry about the person, like stop thinking about the person, stop wondering what they're doing, stop checking up on their social media. And, you know, just to get them all the way out your head. If you want to know how to do that, just keep watching because I'm going to give you the tips, sis. This is all the girl talk and gossip that you've been needing. The first thing you should be doing is not having no contact with them. So if you're still sleeping with them, you might as well just go ahead and exit out this video because you're not ready to be over your ex. Like literally, I'm talking about when you are ready to be over your ex, you have to cut all ties. No communication, no seeing them, no texting, no talking on the phone, no social media, no especially no having sex. Like if you're still having sex with your ex, that's your man, sis. You're still in love. Like just go ahead and be with him you, you're not trying to get over him like that's not your ex if you're like dang how i'm gonna stop talking to them like you know like we have friends that's in common with each other we work at the same place or something like that like you know that type of stuff is a little harder to get through but as long as you're not talking to them on the phone or even if you are like friends with them on social media just like mute their account you don't want to block them like i me personally like to get over my ex, I did not have to block him because he wasn't like a big social media user anyway. If you just like, I'm done with my ex or whatever, block they asses, hit that block button. But if you are somebody who is like, mm, I don't wanna block them, just mute them so that way you don't see their posts so you don't like have no reminder of them all the time. Once you see them all the time, it's definitely gonna be hard to get over them. The number two tip I'm gonna give y'all is keep yourself busy. Do not stay up all night wondering what he's doing, wondering what she's doing. Keep yourself busy. If you don't know how to keep yourself busy, there's so many things you can do. You can work out, you can learn a new trade or something like that. You can teach yourself new things. You can um, go out with your friends more. I know this sounds crazy, but go on dates. Like, I know you're like, my heart is broken. Like, I don't want to talk to nobody else. Like, there's nobody else better than that person. Like, you don't have to be with them for the rest of your life or, you know, you don't have to make a relationship out of you. But just go on dates with people. Like, if a person want to take you on a date, like, who are you to tell them no? You know what I'm saying? Just go out on a date, have a good time, or enjoy your night out in the town not thinking about your ex. Because... When you're at home, I'm telling you, things that's going to start happening is you're going to listen to some love songs, you're going to sit there, you're going to cry, you're going to be watching romantic movies, wishing that was you. Like, get out and live your life. Like, keep yourself busy. Get a dog or something. If you are somebody who's been, you know, like, if they're on a fence about going back to school or something, this is the perfect time to do it because you can put all your energy into it. You want to make sure your next person you come in a relationship is getting the best version of you. Go on a trip with your girlfriends. If you got money or whatever and you like, oh, dang, I need to do something. Go on a trip with your girls. Like, do anything but text, call, or link up with your ex. So the number three tip I'm going to give you is only talk about your ex like, I'll say like two, two months top. Like that's, like that's the only time you should be able to like really like if you like. That's the top. Like I'm not even going to say three. Like I just feel like nowadays people move on so fast. Don't waste three months of your life worrying about somebody that you're never going to be with again like literally never like if you really that hurt i said two months like get over it in two months 60 days to get that person up out of your system because it's not worth it like you you're young you're thriving and you just need to be out here living your best life i guarantee you that girl or guy is not at home worrying about you like i said they probably out on moving on to next and you at home crying like it's not a good look Make sure you're not talking about them 24-7 to your friends, talking your friends' ears off about them. Because one, one thing I'm going to tell you, your friends is going to get annoyed. They ain't going to tell you that, but they going to get annoyed. This one does not have nothing to do with the ex. This is all about you. Tip number four is 
do something special for yourself. Like, go get your hair done, go get your nails done, make yourself feel pretty, go buy a new outfit, go do a spa day. Whatever it is that you love doing, get, getting your lashes done, you name it. Go do that and make yourself feel good about yourself. Don't forget who you are at the end of the day. Any man will be lucky to have you. Any woman be, will be lucky to have you. You pop in, you that bitch or you that dude. It don't matter who it is. Like, you just need to have that confidence within yourself. I know when you go through a breakup, it can be like a little, you know, shot to your ego. Make you be like, hold on now, wait. <laughs> I know you ain't just break up with me. If that does happen, just always remember, you are the bomb and you know who you are. You don't need validation from nobody. Do something special for yourself. Make yourself feel good. Go get your teeth clean. Like, it's a whole bunch of stuff you could be doing. Except for worrying about that ex. One thing that I like to do when I was going through my little heartaches or whatever was I basically like to watch funny movies. Like anything that's funny made me laugh or whatever and get my spirits up, I like to do that. So um yeah, watch you some movies, like some little comedies or something like that. Something silly as hell to make you literally forget all about it. The next tip is to kind of surround yourself with people who love you. I know when you're going through a breakup, you are always constantly um, thinking about what is unlovable out you or what your ex said that why he broke up or she broke up with you. You need to surround yourself with people who do love you. So spend time with your family, spend time with your friends, and get reminded why they mess with you in the first place. Oh, you have a great personality. Your spirit is amazing. You have a great smile. Or you are so funny. You have the best advice, like anything like that. If you're around people who genuinely love you, they're always going to remind you, you know, why you are so important to them. So just spend time with people who really dig you, you know? This next tip right here is something I had like the biggest problem getting. Stop comparing your ex to everybody. Stop doing it. Don't be like, oh, he don't do stuff like this or she don't do Stop. Because that person has moved on. If you are trying to get your ex back, like I said, this is not the video for you. This is for if you want to get over your ex. Because your ex has already moved on. This is to, to people who need to literally let go of the past. Stop comparing. It's not healthy for you at all. Because all you're going to do is constantly keep running into a, a brick wall, basically. Like, every time you think you're getting over your ex, it's like, boop, I ran into this brick, brick wall again because I keep comparing he or she to my ex. That was, like, one of my biggest issues. Like, when I went through my breakup, I always would compare. Now, I just don't do it. Self-improvement, this is my next tip. Work on self-improvement. Like when I went through my breakup, I worked on myself. I did everything I wanted to do. I started working out, eating healthier, throwing all of my energy into my career, and it really did pay off. Like I started losing weight and I started feeling myself. I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. Make sure you're talking about your problems because I know like when you go through a breakup, you can try to hold that stuff in, but talk about your problems, like I said, for two months, and that's it. We ain't talking about the ex after two months, okay? I really would say two weeks, but baby, y'all ain't built like me. <laughs> if you been with somebody for 10 years and y'all end up breaking up, still you that bitch and you can have anybody you want, go out there and find you somebody who won't mess with you. So those are all my tips on how to get over your ex. So basically it's like this. If you go through a breakup and you see yourself over there a mess crying over somebody, don't even do it, sis. Just get up, brush off your shoulders, become that boss. Go out here and shine. Like, this is your life. Don't let nobody who don't see the greatness in you or see how brilliant and wonderful you are to tear you down. You are here for a purpose. Now go out here and find that purpose and find your bae, your next bae, and post them all over social media and make your ex jealous. You feel me? <laughs> it's like, nah, don't do that. Disclaimer. I hope that your little bitty hearts heal and go back together because we can't be having them like this. We got to have them whole and we got to start with loving ourselves first. As a matter of fact, that should have been my first tip, self-love, okay? You can't give the love that you want to receive if it's not there first.
if you have any topics that you want me to I'll touch back based on with this girl talk so go ahead and leave it in the comment section below make sure you hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload a youtube video and i will see y'all in my next one thank you for watching bye